Do you remember Bucharest meeting of NATO, Bucharest summit in 2008? Ukraine was promised to sign a membership action plan. So in the end, a number of NATO member countries refused to support this idea. What happened afterwards? Russia invaded Georgia. Then Russia illegally annexed Crimea and sent its troops to Donetsk and Lugansk. We paid a huge political price for this kind of decision. Going back to our perspectives for NATO membership perspectives, we are very pragmatic and realistic. And I do understand that we cannot get it in the short term, but in the long term, in case if we modernize our military, if we pass reforms that are needed for the Ukrainian military, and we are on track with this, with the support of Brits, Canadians and Americans, if we approximize Ukrainian military up to NATO standards, it's in your interest to have Ukraine as a NATO member. We are defending your borders.